The Volumes of Truth. Volume 1. Remember the Sabbath and your God. And he shall remember you. Section 1. Concerning the Sabbath. February 24, 2005. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy. For Timothy. And for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord to his servant. Timothy. Concerning the Sabbath. The seventh day of each week. Saturday is the day you shall remember. And keep holy. Yes. You shall keep it holy and rest. You shall do no work on this day. Neither shall your wife or children, nor any guest in your house, save that which is needful for your household. You may also do those things which are good and fruitful in my eyes, according to that which I command you. Yet from doing your own pleasure, depart, and from your own works, rest, on the Sabbath day. Walk not in your own way, Timothy, but walk with me in mine. Rest in me, and remember, for in this you honor me, and shall surely be blessed. Therefore, this is what I command you. You shall be prepared for the Sabbath by sunset, on the sixth day, ceasing from all your works, as I have commanded you. You shall remember and honor the Sabbath. From sunset to sunset, you shall rest, and be at peace. For the time is coming when none shall have peace, when no one will be able to work. Yet you, Timothy, shall work. In the midst of deep darkness you shall serve, and in you shall I shine bright. For I have set you up as a lampstand for my people, and in the day I send you, you shall become a beacon. Therefore Timothy, cherish the Sabbath, pray and give worship, offer up thanksgiving in my name. Be refreshed and washed in the word, renewed in the presence of God. And when others draw near, speak to them also. Yea, testify of my passion on the Sabbath day. Share my word and my love, and blow this trumpet, for my kingdom comes. Yes, even on the Sabbath, and in the day of the Lord, shall you walk in the office for which you are called. For I am also the Lord of the Sabbath. Behold, I am Lord over all the earth. Then shall the new day come, and if you are able to receive it, it is the seventh, the Sabbath of the Lord wherein the whole world, shall rest from its evil ways. Indeed, many things, shall be put to rest in the Lord's day, even death, and the grave. Destruction shall have no place, and evil shall be far removed. For as it is written, they shall not hurt nor destroy, in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. Therefore, beloved ones, Pray always that you are counted worthy to enter my rest, that you may abide in the presence of the Lord forever.